Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Takeover, as my shirt says. And listen, I want you to listen. Like, we're in a ball right now. It's crazy. It's loud. It's hectic. We're in New York City. But I want you to listen to No Holds Barred Network. Hey guys, welcome back to the No Holds Barred Network with another episode of Under the Robes. I'm your host as always, the EVP of Giggles, the heartbreak chick, the queen of the indies. And I'm joined by one of my list of husbands, actually, the yeah. sauce, <laughs> Alex Zane. What is what going on? <laughs> uh, just living the life, you know. <laughs> can't complain. I do all the time anyway, but I can't complain. Uh <laughs> Yeah, just trying to make it through these weird times, right? I know, it's like crazy. The rest of us. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a little better than than what you all are dealing with right now with the yeah. whole natural disaster. I'm gonna, uh, like, leave, I'm right? gonna have to like leave <laughs> New York, I feel like. I don't know. <laughs> so, <Right? laughs> with all this craziness. But right? shout, shout out to Queen of NE. I hope you're safe. I'm so sorry. She lost power and she lost internet. So I love doing... The, well, we did the first interview with you, and uh, Kyle was supposed to be with us, and then his dad got sick, and then we got Queen, who stepped in as well. Um, so, And then we got to meet you in person at the GCW show in uh, yeah. January. What show was that? Do you remember? The I Can't Feel Your Face. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. So we got to meet you. We were so excited. So that's why I wanted her to come back and do this episode with me. So, but... Yeah. Stay safe, Queen. Shout out to you. Thank you for all your amazing questions. I'm going to give you all the credit for that because her questions made me laugh yesterday <laughs> when she sent them to me. So, um, yeah, shout out to Queen. Hope you get your power back soon. Yes. I know a lot of people are dealing with the whole Hard. power outage of the. It's crazy the storm that wipe. came up so quick. Wiped all sorts of so, right? Yeah. Everybody stay safe. So enjoy this interview when you get to watch this. So, <laughs> all right. So, I mean, I'm rocking your shirt. One of my hey. friends gave it to me, and then because I'm crazy, I have to cut them up because I like tank tops. Can yeah, we, like, yeah. get some lady tank tops around here? <laughs> I cut, like, all sorts of shirts. <laughs> like, it's, it's a thing, too, where, like, when I get wrestling T-shirts from, like, the companies I work at, I yeah. always like to have, obviously, T-shirts from everywhere I work. Right. I have to keep myself from cutting them because <laughs> I, like... Oh, that'd be a great gym shirt. And I'm like, yeah, but then then you cut your shirt from the first time you work there. Yeah. I feel like yeah. a lot of people do that, that they just cut the <laughs> shirts. And sure. I don't right. like buying the regular T-shirts. And I feel bad because there's so many cute ones. But then I start cutting them and then I mess them up or I cut too close or they just don't fit right. So, guys, right. let's get some lady tank tops <laughs> around here. So, all right. So, so let's jump into this interview. So last time that we talked to you, you were in Japan. So we talked yeah. to you while you were in Japan. So, like, let's talk a little bit more since, like, you've already come back from Japan. So give us a little taste uh, how little Japan update. was. Yeah. There's not even a lot of updates to give because I feel like I came back from Japan and I hit the ground running. Um, and then I got a little injured, you know. Yes. And then um, and then I came back from the injury and the world got injured. Yeah. It was like... Now we're all now we're all sitting at home, right? I know. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dates. I'm bad with dates, but uh, yeah, it was sometime February is when I hurt my foot. Yeah. And uh, then I came back for probably like two or three shows, and then I went. I actually flew out to Vegas to do um, the ROH show that they were doing, and that's the day that they announced the pandemic and. And they canceled the show for the most part. They did like a no fans thing. And we're right. just like, anyone that wants to wrestle can wrestle. And anyone that doesn't can not. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, I ended up not wrestling because I was like, you know, extra rest for this foot. Like it wasn't 100%. So, yeah, I just kind of 
that had some like bad luck. We were at that show. You injured your toe <laughs> when the nail came oh, off. Yeah. Yeah, we were at yeah, that yeah. show. <laughs> and then a yeah, couple. That was even the, the injury, but yeah. Yeah, that, that I was... remember you hurt your foot, and then you were posting the pictures, and you were in that evil boot. I feel you with that <laughs> boot because I've had so many <laughs> surgeries, so I know right. that boot is evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I popped the toenail off, and then the next day I wrestled Bandito, mm -hmm. and which was just brutal because, of course, it's Bandito, so we're just running all over the place. <laughs> and then it was like, I guess like two or three weeks later is when I wrestled uh, Andrew Everett, and that's when I, I goofed goofed the foot yeah. all the way up. Yeah, but so yeah, good it, good times. It gave you like a like a good rest. I feel like with a lot of the wrestlers that have injuries, like this pandemic right. has been good for you guys, for even people who have injuries and are very stubborn and don't want to get it fixed. <laughs> so yeah. I feel like you got your little rest in, but I I'm did. Yeah, my foot feels a million times better now. Like it's it's great, and I just picked up like it's just, I'm bored like the whole time yeah. during the pandemic, and like even the gyms were closed and stuff like that, and I didn't have like many options as far as like lifting weights and stuff so right. i just picked up like a lot of just stretching and body weight stuff so that helped out with all the all the aches and pains fortunately yeah just in that ddp yoga <laughs> i saw we still don't have the gyms open here in new york oh my god i know people that are actually driving to connecticut to go work out at gyms it's crazy oh, so are you like, that close to connecticut uh, from me, cause like I live in Long Island, I think it's about an hour. So I think from like the city with some people, it's like 40 minutes. Right. So, I mean, it's not a horrible drive, but it's a ride. So, yeah, yeah. but you gotta do what I, you I gotta do. Be doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like at this point, you know, like you're, when you're in the ring all the time and you're shirtless all the time, you gotta kind of <laughs> keep that up. That pandemic ain't helping. <laughs> I know even like Lucky Thirteen as well that we've had him on the podcast also, and he was and he has a gym, but I saw like even him he was posted all the selfies like oh I'm back at the gym or even some of my wrestler yeah. friends they're like oh I'm yeah, back at the gym <laughs> yeah it's, it's like we're gonna close the gym we're gonna keep that Taco Bell drive through open right <laughs> so there it goes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, happy Taco Tuesday because it is Tuesday as oh, we're yeah. recording this yes, podcast. So I'm sure you're going to go get some tacos later. So <laughs> yeah. every day is Taco Tuesday for me. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Queen's question is what's your favorite gif of you? Oh, favorite gif. I mean, aside from the obvious, like 630, uh, that, that, changed everything because that was like you know yeah an obvious one hmm i don't know you know what no one ever really gets reaction gifts and stuff with me i want more of that i want because i like i never see like gifts of oh here's alex making a stupid face even though i make stupid <laughs> faces all the time i want more of that okay you know what? <laughs> Oh, guys, yeah. make it happen. Like, I make guess I'm going to have to do this because I am going to see you at Violence and Suffering. So I'm excited. Yeah. I got my ticket. I'm going to be there. So yeah. I will make it happen. <laughs> so because I love yes. making my and videos good. into gifts. So, OK, so Perfect. I will. I'll definitely work on that. But guys, if you see you at a show, make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah. So, I need more favorite gifts that aren't yes. just like a flu. <laughs> okay. So shout out to our friend Conrad. We have another, we have a bunch of fan tweets, guys. Like, thank you again. I appreciate it because you guys kind of took my questions that I wanted to ask. So, but shout out to you guys. So he's got two questions. His first question is, what is the best taco you ever had? And mm -hmm. what are some of your favorite championship designs? Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I got my phone out. This is like a podcast etiquette no-no, I think. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but there's this one taco joint. Uh, what is it called? It's like... It's in Venice. Um, I'm finding it. I'm finding it. We got dead air time now. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow him on Instagram because he always like posts and he always puts the location as well. Yeah, so it's always kind of cool. It's kind of cool to find <laughs> stuff. So, right. I, well, I try to 
do stuff when I travel too, but it's I don't always have the time because it's like a lot of times I'm just like in and out of a city. Right. I always try to get like the local flavor and stuff. But uh, James Beach Restaurant, it's called James Beach Restaurant. I believe it's in Venice. It's right near there, uh, out in LA. And if you are familiar with the "I Love You Man" movie okay. with uh, it- Paul Rudd and yes, yes, Siegel, yeah, yes, uh, yeah. So that's like the the fish tacos that they put over Ooh. in that that movie. Yeah, and they are, like yeah, that it's real. So is it the fish taco that you love? It's the fish tacos, okay, it's definitely yeah. okay. They're incredible, like, and it's crazy too because I mean they're a little on the higher end. I think it's like thirty something for like two tacos. But they're mahi tacos and they are, they're see, awesome. Yeah, see, for sure. I don't like spending money on a good like on good food. So if it's good, yeah. I'll spend the money for it. It's oh, bad yeah, when you mind. when you spend the money and it's not good. Like it's horrible. I feel like because I don't drink and stuff too. Mm-hmm. Like that's where everyone else's like tab really runs up. Yeah. Right. Everyone's like, oh, add the fourteen dollar drink or whatever. And I don't drink and I don't know anything about drink. So <laughs> I just stack up that food tab. And then it's know. worse with like you're with a group of people. So like let's say you're with a group of like 10 people. Right. Like I've had that. Like I've gone to a steakhouse before with a bunch of friends. And I had a friend who didn't drink. But it was just the drinks that killed the bill. And I think it was like $600 <laughs> later. My friend's like, is this yeah. what it's like when people drink? <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. It's like easy for people who drink to spend a quick sixty, seventy bucks. Just yeah, like yeah. After dinner, right? crazy. Uh, so yeah. So Kyra also said, "What's your favorite championship designs?" Oh, uh, championship designs. Hmm. I was always a fan. I think it was because like I always wanted it, like as a kid, and you know, you had like the catalogs WWE put yes. out or whatever. Um. And I always wanted the smoking skull belt, and I had I had that. So, uh, yeah, that's like one of my favorites, the smoking Ooh. smoking skull design. That's cool. Yeah, that's definitely cool. Yeah. Stone Cold fan through and through forever. This belt gets my expensive. Guy. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, yeah, it's like three hundred bucks for like the OG one. Like if you get like the authentic WF one yeah. instead of like the yeah. WWE remake or whatever. Right. Yeah. Cool. Or you could go get the plastic ones at like Walmart or something. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> That's the way to go. Yeah. Um, so back to Queen's question. She goes, what is your go-to brand of hair color? Blue, purple combo. Oh, the blue, purple combo. I use Arctic Fox. It seems to stay the longest. It's a mess, right? But yeah, it, it doesn't fade as quick. Um, it, it still fades pretty quick because like, I always wet my hair before I wrestle. And then, of course... 864 showers yeah because of like wrestling yeah and just it's like shower before shower after shower during i like i like it and definitely like with your shirts i love it right right, right. yeah try to color coordinate uh, yeah and then i love the the new gear going on that you're totally like matching so i definitely love it um Okay, so actually, this is a good question because uh, I know, like, I had posted this on social the other day. I went out with my friend Jimmy. Shout out to you. Jimmy was the one that kind of sparked our conversation from our last interview because I was very Jimmy. sad that he didn't know who you were. And now, you, uh, <laughs> because of the interview, he's like, okay, I know who he is now. So when he went to the GCW show in Atlantic City, he was like, I know this guy now. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, he came up to me and yeah. was like, ah, oh, like, I was the guy who didn't know you and now I know you whatever. Like, so I was well. so excited because I told him, I was jealous that I didn't go to the show. So I told him, I was like, because he was sending me pictures, and I'm like, you have to go up to him now. And he was like, all right, I'm going to do it. So we were yes. playing your theme song in his car the other day because we were hanging out. So, right, right. so I'd love to know the answer to this. So what made you pick your entrance, the downfall of us all from A Day to Remember? Um, so I was using a Death Grip song, like, a while back, Mm -hmm. um, before things, like, popped or anything, and I was, uh, like, I liked it, and I like Death Grips, and they just are loud and abrasive, and just, it's great, but it's, like, heelish almost, like, it's just, you know, and I was like, I gotta have something else, and then I was also kind of like, more so incorporating the whole Taco Bell thing into my whole shtick. Yeah. Because I, I already was that, like, as far as, like, 
online and stuff and like always i was already doing like the body by uh body by taco bell hashtag and stuff just because i was always in the gym and i was always eating taco bell after because i work out late and then it's it's the only thing open and what whatever and so um yeah i was like i need something that kind of goes with that right and then uh, me and a friend of mine we always went to like music shows and everything as as you do when you're younger and don't mind loud noises um (laughs) But we we would always it was like tradition to go get like Taco Bell with a bucket of Baja Blast afterwards because you know you're all depleted of any nutrients from sweating and just hardcore dancing around the <laughs> place. Um, so I just kind of like started thinking back to like what really goes with that whole thing for me. And I remember 2009 Warp Tour was when um, a day to remember was on. I, I don't know if it was their first work tour, but it was like that like album had just blown up just like through the roof. Right. They just were huge, like seemingly overnight. And they actually were put on the small stage at Warp Tour. And they should have definitely not been on the small stage because all of Warp Tour was there. Wow. And it was like the tiny stage and like this ocean <laughs> of people. And they like, of course, mentioned it on stage. They were like, oh, they shouldn't have gave us a small stage this time, you know, laughed it out. <laughs> whatever and <laughs> then that that song hit of course and like everyone just basically just started stomping on everyone else and it was awesome and people were just like brutalizing each other it was great so <laughs> that was like i was like i want that type of energy you know like i'm gonna be the embodiment of a 2009 warp tour taco bell combo <laughs> and that's when that song came into play i know when jimmy listens to this he's gonna pop so hard because he was talking <laughs> about this in the car the other day he's yeah. like i love alex Zane even more he was like because they're my favorite band and he was like and then he was yeah, talking yeah. about warp tour so i know when he listens to this he's gonna pop so hard <laughs> so, r.i.p warp tour right Man. yeah yeah so cool Okay, so Queen said, she goes, if you could have any theme entrance music, she goes, copyrights aside, she goes, what would you pick for yourself? I would, I would, like, I think I would stick with this one, like, Mm -hmm. especially if I got signed and stuff, that'd be so cool to have, like, the rights to it and be able to do it. Like, that'd be sweet. Um, Just to use Downfall of Us All, I think. I, I can't think of anything else that I've, that I've used, like, as loyally. Right. That's okay. That's great. Okay, so shout out to Chris, another fan tweet. He said, what is one menu item from Taco Bell that you wish they would bring back? Oh, man, it's not even gone yet. But, like, as soon as I started, like, getting into the, um, what is it called? Spicy potato soft taco. Mm -hmm. As soon as I started getting into it, man, I've been on it for, like, a few weeks now. And I was like, where have you been hiding this thing? (laughs) on this value menu you've been hiding from me and uh yeah and now they're taking the potatoes off the menu how dare you shame on you talk about i'll change it i'll change it eventually why bring them back why have they not sponsored you yet i feel personally attacked right now they're going to i'm gonna make them i'm gonna force their hand i'm gonna show up at like their corporate office and be like i'm not leaving without sponsorship sponsor him like what's wrong with you guys like Like, a heavy gift card i think that must be one of your most like tweeted question right from like fans like i see it all the time like why is it this guy sponsored by taco (laughs) bell and they're adding adding taco bell so i see it all the time Maybe they just see a bunch of stuff and they're like, we cannot condone this. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I even used it for our layout here. Like, a whole bunch of Taco yes. Bell in the background. I was like, layout. look, thank you. I'm getting better with my layout. So I, um, I had to do a Taco Bell theme for of it. Course, so definitely course. wouldn't, it wouldn't you know, be, I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. So Queen's next question says, have you ever considered going on American Ninja Warrior or being a stuntman? Yeah, actually, I've considered both of those things. Um, A friend of mine used to submit videos kind of like all the time for American Ninja Warrior. And then he would also go because like they only select a certain number. And then you can go and be like kind of these warm up round guys. It's like crazy. And I always wanted to go to that with him, too. Um, But he does like a bunch of uh, crazy athletic stuff like those Tough Mudders and all those like circuit races, whatever they're called. Um those things are crazy. Obstacle races, I guess, is really what they are, and they're they're brutal. Uh, I haven't I haven't dove into one yet because like I'm gonna embarrass myself. 
like running alongside <laughs> no. him. I went to the gym with him once, and I was like, Jesus, what? What? Are, he's superhuman. He's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm here yeah. for it. I'm down yeah. for it. Like, I was, I, I'm telling you, like, I'll really shout out Queen because your questions, I'm like, these are so good. I was like, right. so it was funny because it actually made me sit there and think. So, but yeah, I definitely do American Ninja Warrior. That seems just like cool. I'm not that, I don't know. Like, that's a, that's a different, <laughs> like, I think there's not as many just like single acrobatics in it. It's like this long stream of just being athletic. And I got to I got to get punched and knocked down and lay there for a second. Sometimes <laughs> that's my whole thing. Oh. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. And stunt stunt work seems awesome. I would love to do that. Oh, cause... man. Yeah. Oh, man. It was crazy. The uh, I had a whole bunch of friends here for Fourth of July and we watched your at, you at GCW and like over the car. I see. I think that's one of my favorite gifts that I seen of you. Oh, the flip over the car. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah so crazy for anybody who like don't know Alex Aid, and this is why like I preach like about it like your 4th of July shows are the best and they're, they're my they're my uh kind of like coming out party sort yeah. of like uh, Wrestlemania every year for me you know <laughs> that's why we were here screaming for you at the house it was great yes, thank so, you. um <laughs> Okay, so we have another fan tweet from RJ. He said, when will we see you challenge Cody for the TNT Championship? Oh, man. <laughs> when, that is a good question. Like, if it was only up to me. Um, yeah, you know, I've thought about being a little more vocal because a lot of people have kind of requested that I that I shoot for that. Yeah. Um, and I've definitely considered being more vocal about it and, and getting a little more aggressive on the Twitter machine about it. And like, hey, it, look here. Cody, that's how I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> hey, bucko. Uh, Wait, you um, should do it right now. Let, let's do it right now, like on the podcast, right and now. we'll clip it. And then we need to start a hashtag, and we need to make no this hashtag. happen because I saw even heel pops and chair shots. Ch shout out to you guys for making that awesome yeah. video as well. That video was sick. Yes, yeah. was those, like, okay, those are the boys. Like, I love them. Yeah. So, so come on, give, give us your best, like, to Cody. <laughs> hey, hey, Cody. I, I want the belt, guy. Give me it. That's <laughs> that's what that's what it would be like. <laughs> I want to see this happen because even yes. me, who's running an AEW podcast, like so, right. I'm here for it. So between you and number one husband Anthony Gangone, like I need you both to go a after this championship belt. So we Cody might just be scared. Of the sauce, maybe scared of the slip. I think that's probably that's the problem. Maybe he doesn't it. like tacos. Hey, like a, you, I think you like need to teach him tacos. the way. I think that's just what it is. You need to teach him to find way. out. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. He doesn't like tacos. We've solved the mystery. That's why. That's it. <laughs> so, that's it. But guys, tweet it out. Let's get him a shot at Cody because I'm here for AE Dub. So, <laughs> hashtag Cody likes mild sauce. <laughs> That's his problem. He's, he likes mild sauce. He seems like a mild sauce type. I'm done. That's great. Okay, so Queen's next question is, who's your favorite comic book or movie villain? Mmm. 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 Uh, I'd like... Okay, let me think. Comic book, movie, or movie. can be either. Or if you mm. want to do both. Oh, both. Let's okay. do both. I was always a fan. And like, this is so, like, I was always a fan of, um, of, like, the original Penguin. Yes. Like, that Batman Penguin. Yes. In the movie, because he was, like, disgusting and stuff. And that was, he was great. Uh, so I always loved him. Why does Batman have, like, all the best villains? Because, of course, like, Joker. Because, like, yeah. it's Joker. Yeah. Right? But then I feel like. I'm that I'm that like normie guy. It's like Joker, dude. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> but that's who I am. I'm a normie guy. Joker's <laughs> awesome. I love it. I love the original Penguin as well. <laughs> like bringing me back. Oh man, I'm showing my age now. Let me stop. <laughs> right? Same thing. <laughs> Kids are like, why is Penguin? <laughs> yeah, but I'm older than you, so like I'm really showing age. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, really? Okay, so our next fan tweet is from Dave. He said, smaller wrestlers in pro wrestling get less respect than larger wrestlers. How do you want to change that feeling? I love this question. Mm, uh, like, 
I think, you know, to some extent that's true, of course, right? But, uh, like, I think the only way to get around that is, one, to, like, not, you just, you just gotta, you gotta no-sell that, you know? Like, you don't ever hear Rey Mysterio being like, that's a smaller guy, people were just always, you know, the cards were stacked against me. No, he's just Rey Mysterio, right? Right. And, like, he doesn't even really point, points it out and never calls attention to it. And, like, everyone knows it. Everyone knows he's, like, five foot as fuck, but he's, like, one of the greatest of all time. Right. So just to be undeniable, I think, because every wrestler who's undeniable, like all that, like no one says anything. No one, no one points out any of it. Like there's always flaws with all of them, but no one really points it out. And if they do, no one cares. It's true. So, yeah. Support indie wrestling. I mean, I'll always Support say it. it like, and like, I always say like, go to your local shows because me very big on this under the ropes like i love interviewing everybody even people that might not be mainstream or known but you don't know what's going to happen and that's our future too so you don't know i think most of the people i mean look at like uh seth rollins you know and when he was running the indies like that's how he got to where he is now he was just undeniable so i I mean that's the focus right just yeah it starts somewhere so right. definitely support it, guys. Um, that's why I do it. Go do it. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Queen's next question says: As as you're a fan of, t- um, are you a fan of tournaments in wrestling? Example: uh, the New Japan. And if so, what's your favorite? I'm a huge fan of tournaments in wrestling. Like, I think there's not enough tournaments in wrestling, really. Like, of course, you don't want to, like, oversaturate it, overdo it, and then just everything's a tournament, right? But right. I think, man, like, I miss King of the Ring so much. Oh, like, my I God, I loved yes. that growing up. I, like, that was always one of my favorite things, and I feel like it made so many people. So many people came up off that. I mean, not not it exactly, but, like, it was a huge thing for Austin. You know, yeah. That's little, you know? So, um love love tournaments of course just with my style and size and everything else um best of super juniors is always yes a favorite always a favorite for me and g1's always a favorite um new japan kills it with the tournaments i think because for whatever reason they're looked at as a much more um athletic competition almost like just their style like that's just kind of like their brand that it leaves more room for a believable and authentic sort of tournament experience, you know, but not, not to say that they can't have a great tournament everywhere. Right. But they're doing the tournament right now. Isn't it? Right. AW doing the whole tag title. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. They just started uh, yesterday. So yeah. 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 So it's exciting. On a Monday. Yeah. yeah it's exciting. I mean, I, I love it. Like, why not? So I'm definitely Did they do like done. a 30 minute episode or something. I saw uh, it was something like that, like between like 30 and 40 minutes, I think it was. So I yeah. like that. Like it's kind of. Yeah, they did two matches. Weird, kinda, like, weird. Yeah, they did two matches, which is kind of nice because they gave like more time to the women. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, definitely enjoyable. And, and that's and again, like I love tournaments, too. And it's funny, like, you, you know, bring me back to like King of the Ring. I remember like watching like the first King of the Ring and I'm like, why did they stop it? It was like a major pay-per-view right. for a while. Yeah, and I know they tried. But, I would love if they'd bring it back. I, I think it would it'd be cool if they brought that back for, like, NXT. Yeah. Like, they started, you know, because they brought back the kind of throwback in your house gimmick yeah. for NXT. And well, maybe bring back that King of the Ring style. Because okay. they, they have so many, you know, like, that roster. I think, right. I don't know. It's, it would fit. It yeah. would. It would. If you could be in, like, one particular one, like, what would be the, the goal tournament? Literally, like, a lifelong dream is best of Super Juniors. Absolutely. Maybe one day we'll see it. I'm all maybe. for it. I don't know. Like I can think crazy. of a couple of people that I would love to see in that. So Ooh, I maybe. can think of a couple things that I would do if I were in there mm-hmm. that like I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some new favorite gifts with it. Oh, with okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, you know, like I just thought of a question because um, GCW is doing their their. Uh, tournament coming up the death matches one so yeah, i mean have I, you done death match before the only death match stuff i ever did was in the yard um and i only did like like two or three uh and i mean i got pretty pretty you would curse if stuff. you want <laughs> you're good <laughs> oh yeah yeah i yeah, got pretty fucked up right? um, so <laughs> 
yeah um that's the only stuff that i've done like and i enjoy it and like would definitely do it but i i, I, I gotta be chill be chill on the I don't, okay, I don't so, really want to get super scarred up. Oh, so who who would be like the dream opponent then? Uh, there's two. Okay, two dream death match opponents. Um, uh, in America anyway, and that would be Ricky Shane Page, and of course the King Nick Gage. Yes, so, I'm for yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the two dream death match opponents. So if I if I do a death match, then it's gonna be versus one of Ooh. one of them or both. I just, I just want to see light tubes. Like, everybody knows. Right. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with light tubes. Like, everybody was like, why? And I'm like, I don't know. They're like, what is it about the light tubes? I'm like, I don't know. I think it's the spooky dust. I was like, I don't yeah. know. I think that's why I love I love it. But they're like, they come with their own sound effects and stuff. They're awesome. Yeah, it's weird. That's what I like about death matches. But then there's things that I turn my face to because I'm like, I, I, I can't watch this. So I'll watch like. So it's going to be very interesting when I go to the show at GCW because I like right. sometimes I cringe and I think I went to I see first time w. I ever did light tubes. It must have been like showing age again, but it was in the yard and I was probably like real, real early 2000s, like 2000 mm -hmm. to 2002, something like that. And it was in the middle of winter and it had snowed and we're, oh boy. we found we found a light tube at like the school dumpster or something. And. We took the light tube and we had it sit, sitting in the snow and like we did like, because it was only two of us right. in my yard yard fed at the time. So we just had different gimmicks and we would just do uh, the same match over and over with just different names. <laughs> and um, and then the last match we're going to use the light tube and he's going right. to hit me with the light tube. But the, I don't know if it was just the specific light tube was just a son of a bitch or what, or if it was like the fact that it was frozen and I was also frozen because I wrestled in a short sleeve shirt in the snow for like oh, three man. hours. And then he picks the light tube up and he hits me. And it was like one of the most painful things oh, I ever goodness. experienced. I was like, is this how light tubes feel? Jesus. And then a later took another light tube and it was like, not as, that is not bad. as terrible. <laughs> yeah. Cause you were probably frozen to death. Right, I was frozen, and it was frozen. It was like getting hit so it was with a probably, sheet of ice. It was probably worse. Oof, that it yeah, should it was, be. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, was, so maybe we still have the like a piece of that light tube. Really? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> Saved it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, hopefully, I mean, I'm for it, but you know, I'm open yeah, to day. it. One hopefully, day. we'll see it. So fingers crossed. So. Um, okay, so this fan tweet, I'm going to shout out Allie because she put it out there. I was going to ask you this question, and then I actually I got a bunch of messages. So they want to know the story of how you got your pet raccoon, Hubert, right? <laughs> Bro. Uh, <laughs> so, like, I'll, I'll go get Hubert in a second. Um, Aww. He's, he's in the cage now. Yeah, we'll, we'll get him in here. We'll get a couple questions yes. for Hubert. Um, but no, um, he's a handful, so I got to keep him in the cage. Otherwise, he would be tearing the house apart right yeah. now. Um, but so we're just rehabbing him, obviously, like to get him back in the wild because that's where he needs to be. If you <laughs> met him, you would know. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a wild animal. Yeah. Me. But um, Tabby's mom, mm -hmm. uh, for those of you who do not know, Tabby is my girlfriend. Tabby's mom has a farm and they rehab all sorts of animals, um, just kind of randomly like they get calls and like hey we, ha we have this animal that needs some uh, some rehab and um for whatever reason right like raccoon lost its mother and it's mm -hmm. bottle fed and that's that sort of thing and so tabby's rehabbed of several of them and her mom kind of had her hands full too uh, at the farm and just called her up and was like hey you want you want to deal with this so now now we're dealing with Aww. it and it's, yeah he's great yeah Aww. super that's so Shout cool. He's so cute. Yeah, I'll grab him before we hop off. Yeah, to... he's so cute. Like, I love seeing the videos that you've been posting. I saw, like, the one with your TikTok the other day. Yeah, the 100,000 TikTok follower <laughs> Taco Bell Mill. So great. I thought he was going to just, like, love tacos. No. Because that's what I assume about yeah. everyone. Um, and, like, he was he was okay with the tacos, but right. the Baja Blast, that's what he wanted. That's what he, he wanted. wanted. <laughs> yeah. And of course, I'm not going to give him a bunch of Baja Blast and just have him caffeinated. Yeah. But like, he drank like a puddle, a little sm small puddle yeah. of Baja Blast. And he was just bouncing off the walls. I was like, never again. 
this guy. So cute. My, I saw like like your ear got like all red. Oh, I was biting yeah. your ear he was and my ears off. Yeah, oh. he always does that. He goes for the ears. He loves loves the ears. He tries to steal my plugs. My, <laughs> how long does it take to like rehab one of them? Um, usually from the time we got him, because we didn't know his exact age, of yeah. course. Um, but I think he was probably like six or seven weeks at the time, and so probably like he could probably be good to go now to the uh there's like kind of like sanctuary type things that are just huge fenced in mm-hmm. acres and acres and they just slowly get them used to the wild and there's other animals there and stuff that i guess they buddy up with um but usually it's only like a couple months yeah he's probably he's probably good to go now um but you know I'm gonna... then, then I, I have to be good <laughs> i was just gonna say that like are you gonna be okay to like say goodbye like yeah 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 like i, <laughs> I don't know it's not it's not super hard because like i think it's better it's better for him yeah of course he's going to the wild he's not trapped in a house so is there going to be like a parting like you know oh, like some yeah. vibe? A video of the parting for sure <laughs> for the TikTok. okay so uh, look out for that guys. <laughs> look out for that look out for just me and hubert just longingly saying goodbye to each other <laughs> too cute um Okay, so Queen's next question. It's so funny because we always go back to food, and this happened the last episode. We were just talking about food. Always, but... <laughs> always the food. She goes, what is your go-to road trip or travel snack food? Mm, go-to road trip and travel snack food. I am a big fan of the pizza combos. I don't know why. They're just – it's like I never eat them until I'm driving. And then it's like, oh, combos. Like you know the little the little combo circle mm-hmm. gimmicks with in their pretzel and pizza. Yeah. They're probably terrible <laughs> for you. But I get those and then I always get those uh uh the sweet tart ropes. Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah, those are those are my jam too. Um other than that when I'm traveling I look for like the local spots when I go out and I also always check the um history of Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares Ooh. for any restaurants that are still open. Mm-hmm. And I hit That's those, and if I can't find any of those, then I jump into the, uh, what is it called? Uh, drive throughs Diners, and Dives. Yes, yes. Yeah, I jump into that, and I'm like, yo, where's it at? That's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's so I try to eat at all the Gordon Ramsay ones, the um, all the Kitchen Nightmare ones. Right, right. Where, yeah, like he revamps the dying restaurants, but so many of them are closed. Oh. Like, because I guess they go back to their old ways, right? And they're just like closed down. So. Oh man! So there had to be like some really good ones, and maybe some bad ones for that. Yeah, like the really good ones are the ones that uh, that have survived. There, I've done like four or five out in LA, and I think one or two of those are closed now. And then, I don't, yeah, I've done all sorts. Of, there's one in Pittsburgh if it's still there. A couple in New Orleans, uh, Denver, Chicago. Ooh. Yeah, so look for those. Yeah. So is there like a, a spot. favorite like in the states or maybe in like, uh, like snack, uh, like a particular one that like sticks out to you that like if you know you're gonna go to that state or somewhere oh, like. Man. Yeah. What is it called? Um, I think it's called like Oceana, I think, and that's in New Orleans. But New Orleans is like my favorite yeah. city. In America. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I love Creole food, and they they were just ridiculous. They're so good. It's good down uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Creole food and just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I could yeah. stuff like, down there. I would go there. Like, it's like 13 hours. And I, sometimes I'm just like, you know what? Weekend drive just to get Oceana. Oh, right? <laughs> nothing beats that. Right. Oh, <laughs> man. I don't know why, but I remember, like, uh, I went to Bourbon Street one year. I don't know why this. I always this always sticks out to me. I probably had one of the best. I know this is crazy. It's such a simple thing, but I had one of the best BLT sandwiches ever. I wanted this. I don't know why. And I think maybe because they hit, use um, fried green tomatoes. I think maybe that's oh, why that it was is. so good in the sandwich. That sounds. <laughs> welcome to the South, right? Yeah. They'll <laughs> fry anything. Um, and. The, uh, what is it? Cafe. Oh, du- uh, Dumont. Dumont. Yeah. 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 Yes. The beignets. Bro. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to plan a trip and go there, like, when we're whatever the new normal right. is. Like, I definitely <laughs> said that with my friends. I'm like, we got to plan a trip to New Orleans. Like, 
Yeah, it's definitely a fun spot to go on Bourbon uh, Bourbon Street, and I know you don't drink, but the food. Right. And people are like, you love that place? You don't even drink. And but it's, it's not always so about the drinking. It's about like the food and the jazz music that's playing, and all the other tourist things that are going. The museum. Right. There's so many right. great a things. Places. Uh, yeah. A couple places on like just around or whatever that were serving beignets and stuff. Yeah. And like little, just like pop in shops. Mm-hmm. Not the way to go. Yeah. Just hit up Cafe du Monde, do yourself a yeah. favor. It's a little extra walk because it's like it's only a couple the blocks or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, it's not bad. If you're um, gonna stay on the strip, yeah, it's yeah. not that far. It's worth and it. And they're like 24 hours. And yes. <laughs> always packed. I and never, I never went there, and there was like less than hundreds of people. Oh yeah. It's crazy. You wait most of the time. You yeah. definitely wait on there, and their coffee's yeah. really good too because I'm a big coffee right. nut. So yeah, I definitely... I'm a hot chocolate guy. They got the hot chockey on deck. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Oh, okay. So I got to, like, plan a trip <laughs> down right. there now because we're talking yeah, about it. they do mania down there again so I can just have a read. Yes. Oh, well, maybe. We'll see. Hopefully hopefully soon. Hopefully we can pull out of this and we can start well, that getting back to normal. Just... Fingers crossed. Like, I try to stay in the positive mind with it. So. All right. Yeah. Um, so during the pandemic, since we're talking a little bit about it, so have you picked up any new hobbies that like you haven't? I'm pro- I'm probably assuming it's going to be your TikTok thing. <laughs> yeah, TikTok is definitely picked up. I started doing TikTok when I was in Japan, um, which I I wasn't like doing TikToks in Japan, but I was like posting wrestling clips on TikTok while right. I was there, um, and that's just because I really started noticing like the trend of TikTok and I was mm-hmm. like, oh shit, like they're like TikTok's where it's at for sure. Um and then yeah, I picked it up more so when the pandemic hit and I was just like in the house bored. Anyone that uh is a TikTok person <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. Um in the house so, board. <laughs> <laughs> bored in the house and I'm in the house board. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah don't get that stuck in the I know. Uh, <laughs> Dick thing, it really is. Yeah. TikTok will do that to you so so much. You're just running around the house singing TikTok. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then me me and the girlfriend started pranking each other for the TikTok, and now that's just a whole mess. Man, yeah. Like, oh, she hasn't posted this one yet. But if you see this, okay, let's get weird. Let's show my armpit, and then we'll show my naked armpit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, she, I'm chilling on the couch, bored in the house, and I'm in the house bored. <laughs> Right, and I'm chilling there. I'm just like chilling. And yeah. She comes up with a wax strip. And oh just no! <laughs> gets the armpit, and I like, and then it's just there, and there's only one way out of this situation. Oh no! Yeah, she's. She, I don't think she's posted it up yet, but yeah, oh. she'll be posting that. So go hit the. If you want to see me scream in agony about getting my oh. um, armpit waxed uh, unintentionally and uh, unwillingly. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, go, go hit the TikTok machine. Did it make you feel like you know sorry for the girls that go through all that stuff with waxing? <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I always felt that way. I didn't need a <laughs> reminder. I didn't, you know, I didn't need it. I knew. Guys, you don't understand what we go through t- to look cute. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. It hurts. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yes. Okay, so another thing, like, whatever happened with the guy with the videos that you were taking that was stalking that you at Taco question. Bell? Yeah, like, I'm what's going on? Not, like, I need to know. About my belt uh, before. Yeah. My smoking skull belt. You were, well, which, what's your favorite design? And I, it's gone now. So, hoping that'll uh, show up. Hoping we can find that guy and take care of him. Take care of him the hard Gotta way. Get your you belt know, back. He, he broke my taco. He stole my belt. Shame, shame. I shame. need a shame belt. For, like horrible, yes. horrible. Give back the belt. So I hope, I yeah, hope we can, I hope we can, uh, you know, see what's going on. Hopefully, you get your belt yeah. back soon. So I was talking about that the you other day. Him. I was like, yeah, if you see him on the streets, all right, I let you know yeah. if I see him here like, in New York, yeah, eating some tacos. So Everywhere. I don't know. So maybe we'll have to find out and drag him out somewhere. So. Right. <laughs> Oh, and then when you come to New York, I have to take you to that spot in Long Island. Remember the big taco box I I tagged you in? I was so excited because I think it was on Instagram. I was scrolling and they were doing like a best of places. Or they like do like best of spots in like Long Island. Oh, so they're in New York. Okay. Yeah, it's in Long Island. Um, so I, I think it's it's in Deer Park, New York. And I remember Yo, New just York is such a just a food heaven. <laughs> it's 
like all of it. I would bring you some on the 16th, but I don't think it's going to survive and stay right, nice yeah. and warm. And I know, like, no, don't bring you any cold tacos. You'll know because you said this Soggy on the last. Tacos. Yeah, oh. like, but that box was serious. So if you ever come back to, like, New York and you want to take a drive out to Long Island, that's oh, the yeah. spot because that big box, I think it came with, like, 24 tacos. It was build your own taco. Nice. So it was, like... 24 taco shells like you can mix you can do soft you can do corn you can do the hard taco then you get to pick like two proteins and then it comes with a bunch of sauces and lettuce and cheese and oh my god it's heaven on earth so what's your what's your favorite what's your favorite oh, taco man. like if you're going to like authentic tacos you know you got the lingua barbacoa I, I, you know. i'm like a like a pork nut like oh, when okay. i see pork that's what okay. i want like definitely like right. i love I steak i love chicken mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but Pork is the way to go for me, and I want some guacamole on it because mm, guacamole. fresh I'm a, I'm guacamole. I'm a barbacoa guy for sure. Oh yeah. man, I love it. Yeah. I just mm, yeah, it's okay. I'm ready. Soft stuff. <laughs> have the okay, so Queen's next question says: At GCW Homecoming, you did this flip onto the two people on the turnbuckle that wowed all <laughs> of us, and she said you had me questioning if you were Spider Man. Is there a name for this move? First of all, I am not Spider-Man, <laughs> but I do have some very nice photos of him that I can sell oh. to anyone interested. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm his personal photographer, I think, at this point. <laughs> but um, what was the second part of the question? If you had a name for that move. Yeah, um, I think it would be called the Double Decker Dragon Rana, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. The Dragon Rana, the flipping Rana. Yeah. The Dragon Rana, but then they're on the second deck or something. There's some, you know, and then there's just two people. Uh, that that wasn't the, uh, usually I do it on one person, right. one people, but right, <laughs> get, get my way, <laughs> getting a double decker dragon rana. That's what I'd call it. Okay, That's what call it on TikTok. Oh, okay, all right, I like <laughs> that. Um, and then we have a fan tweet. Actually, I like this fan tweet. So. Uh -oh. It's from our friend MGB Graham. He said, just saw a 4th of July special with Tony Deppin. That's how pretty much a lot of us found you, I think. That is, that and is, yeah. he said, that was crazy. He goes, what should be the second match of yours I see? And where can it be found? Um, have you have you seen both uh, GCW me versus Blake Christian matches. The first yeah. one that Joey escapes out LA. Yes. Yes. And then the one just now in Atlantic City at yes. Homecoming. Yes. Those up, are great. up to you which one of those two matches. Mm. They're both good. It doesn't matter. I can watch you and Blake go at it all the time. And I'm sad that I didn't get to see you live at Synergy. So mm -hmm. you guys need to make it up to me and come back to Synergy we and are, like have are, it. Because I need I need to see that. So oh man, that's hard because they're both Synergy. They, they're, they uh took our great. cancellation with uh, Yeah. The New Japan uh, Dojo. Like pros, yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, we um so we'll definitely be back like we've already loosely discuss some dates and just things and ideas so yeah hopefully there. we get to do that match specifically i'll yeah. be there i support synergy so much but those were two very great match like again i could watch you and blake all the time um so you know what grab if you haven't seen the recent one definitely watch it because the whole the whole i mean i love gcw gcw is one of my favorite yeah, right. uh promotions as well so they're definitely good but yeah i'm gonna probably say the recent one um yeah yeah Absolutely. i mean they're both good so definitely that's day one night one of homecoming gcw in atlantic city yes. what was the date on that i suck with oh dates. god it was... it was like what two weeks ago i think it was yeah. like you yeah. make me look two it up now ago. i think it was i think it was two weeks ago uh okay we're in august so eh. july do i want to say the 25th was it the 25th yeah it was 25th yeah was 25th. okay 25th. so definitely 26th. uh yeah definitely yeah they're all good, Homecoming. Graham. That's it. That's Def the definitely, they're 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 good. I love and I love the scramble matches, and I just love the scramble matches. Cool. And you won the scramble match, so I was all hey, excited. Hey. So congrats. So <laughs> it was such it was so good. It was such a good uh, good match. I'm all for it. Okay. All those guys are incredible. They're great. They're great. I just again, like I said, guys, like GCW, amazing promotion. I mean, there's so many. I can go on and on and on. Like, I'm excited to see you at BLP. 
in a couple of weeks oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. So you team up with uh, Christian. So yeah. I gotta get him on the podcast, Christian. Yeah, I need you on right. here. Like I have many questions for you. Jesus, so Christian, hopefully, what do you do? <laughs> hopefully, his, hopefully soon. His girlfriend always calls him Christian, so I got it. Christian. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like one of these days I should have the both of you on because I would love to kind of yeah, have you both. Yeah, like down. team team bestie. Like I feel like that we got here. Yeah, yeah. Ours right. is like team like what do you call it? Like uh, just we're like two siblings that just argue the whole time. Just bickering. <laughs> and, just... and the pictures like I think uh, what was it? One of the, my favorites that I saw recently when you were putting the suntan lotion on him. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, you guys are great. That someone did like a Step Brothers edit. Oh, I of, like, saw that. Yeah. And I it's think, great. what was it? What are the shows you guys went to as well? Like, you can't tell. Like, I'm a huge fan of Ali Zane, right? Like, I, I right. just know. Yeah. Like, definitely. Uh, what was it? When I think you put a tweet out, something that you had asked Blake if he could ask his mom if he can sleep over at your house. <laughs> that you guys were yeah. going to go drive to a show oh. together. I was like. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I gotta have the both of you. Are. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna I do that. Know. We'll have Queen come back, and then we're gonna do like kind of like a team bestie, like uh, yes. me, me and Queen are double trouble. So queens, right? okay. like I gotta have to have uh, you know double trouble with you guys too. So we're gonna Did we're you. gonna plan that. So okay, so let me ask like one final question, and then we'll go into all social and everything. Uh, okay. So what what's like you know the goal for? I mean, I know this year's kind of shot, right? But yeah. you know at least. At least we're getting wrestling back. So yeah, yeah. are there any, like, new goals for this year or, you know, going forward? Um, I've been I've been taking the time just because now, like, I have more time. Um, right. And I've been doing a lot of studying and just trying to improve my my whole everything. Just so um, that's really just the goal is just to get better all right. the time. Um, of course, there's always kind of the goal to just get back on the road full time. That's one of the short term goals. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's short term. Right. I'm hoping that they allow it to be a short-term goal um, and don't drag this out for my whole life. So stop getting sick, wear your mask, and all that <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah, uh, it's important, yeah. Um, guys. Right. Uh, so, yeah, just getting better and just uh, improving the craft, right? Because when when things open back up, the last thing I want to happen is be like, oh, he's worse or the same as before. So, yeah, just better, better, better. <laughs> Oh, get that big shiny forehead in there. Here you go. <laughs> and Cody, put that forehead in. There. Come on, Cody. Ooh. Like, take the challenge. Like, stop being take afraid. That. Stop eating the you mild sauce. <laughs> I think yeah, he wants stop it. Being mild sauce, Cody. Look at this forehead. <laughs> this forehead's coming for you, brother. <laughs> want that? Yeah. I will. I will be the hugest. Like, I will mark out so hard uh, if if this happens. So, I hope it oh, happens. Man. I really do. I really do. So, um, so yeah. So tell There's some some new sauce flavors. Yeah, you know, get like him, <laughs> get him, you know, step him up a little bit. Get him off that mild game. <laughs> we're gonna, hopefully, guys, tweet it out. We're gonna we're gonna make this happen. So it tweet needs to it. happen because they listen to the fans, guys. So we're gonna start a tweet hashtag. It. <laughs> tweet it. Hashtag Cody eats mild sauce. Yes, that's gonna be the hashtag. Hashtag mild sauce Cody. <laughs> <laughs> um so tell everybody where they can find you if they're not following you already everywhere instagram <laughs> twitter tiktok everywhere is just alex zane at alex zane a-l-e-x-z-a-y-n-e -E. uh google it google it uh maybe weird stuff pops up i don't <laughs> know you can even find me on spotify at alex zane i'm everywhere at alex zane yeah i used to do music i haven't done music in a long time been busy uh been, been busy doing a wrestle you gotta do so. your reviews back on youtube i put your channel all, all his links are in the description below guys as well so but yes, your youtube thanks. channel too i have down there you need to bring back some of these reviews, of these reviews. yes Man, I, I thought about doing that like uh yo who's down to watch me eat tacos yes. in like different states because like when i go to different states i'm gonna find the local taco flavor i think that's cool because that. you don't know hey you know like you might get spot see it might scare like taco bell like what is he doing he's reviewing other uh -oh. tacos and like we gotta you know <laughs> sponsor this Should've guy never taken potatoes off the menu that's <laughs> what they're gonna say. we fucked up i can't um so before i end this can we say hi to hubert 
Oh yeah, yeah. Let me grab. Yeah, the other. like I want to see. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe to the No Holds Barred Network, like this page, share it, and uh, we're on the noholdsbarnetwork.com. The website's up there as well. There's also uh, articles for you guys to read as well, so make sure you guys share, 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 go check it out. If there's things you want put on the network, DM me or leave messages on the No Holds Barred Network as well. There's so many ways that uh, he can get in contact with us. Oh, boy. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> She's probably going to try to attack oh, me. Oh, look how cute. <laughs> Tell him what's up. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. he's so cute. <laughs> oh, no. He's going to bite your ear again. Yeah, he's definitely going to bite my ear. Oh, no. just like, yeah, already, already going for the ear. <laughs> oh, no. the ear. Oh no! He's, <laughs> he's chilling right now. I gotta take the hat off. He's, oh, he's so cute. Aww. Hubert up. Yeah, yeah he's already so, looking for something to I'm, get into. Yeah. Like, mischief. I'm <laughs> definitely looking forward to uh, seeing your parting video. So definitely yeah, on yeah. that. He's gonna, he's gonna be great uh, out in the wild. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Aww. Okay. Well, he's done. Right. So thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go find something to tear up. That's Definitely. Oh, guys, by the way, we're also sponsored by Power Slam TV. So I'm sure you could as well find Alex Zane on there because there's so many great promotions on there. Just type in his name and then you'll find a whole bunch of matches on him. So you can use one yes. month free. <laughs> use the code no holds free and you'll get to. No holds free. No holds free. <laughs> Understand. Hubert, tell him use the code. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> All right, well, thank you again so much for coming on the No Holds Barred Network, guys. Again, of like, course. share, subscribe. And we're going to make this happen with you and Blake, with me and Queen of NE, because this has it to be uh, hashtag, it'll be like quadruple, uh, double, tri well, can't even say, I don't even know what we're going to call it. We'll, we'll, we'll think of a name, so we're, we'll plan something. Yeah, we'll, figure we'll, we'll figure it out. So, but, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for listening, and we will speak to you soon. Raccoon butt. There's something